Hey everyone, welcome to Talks Tutoring. So today we are going to be sketching ellipses, which will be in chapter one of your textbook. This should be holiday homework for you. So if you're doing it right now and you're struggling with ellipses, make sure you continue watching this video until the very end. Anyway, what is an ellipse in the first place? An ellipse is essentially a circle that has been dilated either horizontally or it has been dilated vert vertically. So when you transform this ellipse or when you dilate that circle, I mean, um, you either get your egg or you get your rugby or, you know, it's something oval, something like that. Right, so that's an ellipse. So what is the difference between an ellipse and a circle? So as you know from methods, hopefully, that a circle formula is of this form, x minus h squared plus y minus k bracket square equals to r squared. So h, k would be your center. So center is h, k, and then radius is your radius. Whatever r is, that's your radius, k. With an ellipse, on the other hand, the formula, the general formula is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. Very similar, but here's the difference. The denominators, so they have a denominator for each of these values. So we call the denominator under x a square and the denominator under y b square. And then it's always equals to 1. So there's still a plus in between, there's still x minus h, y minus k, but the only difference is this denominator right here. The center in this case is still hk, no difference. Of course though, the radius isn't r anymore. We have a 1, that is not our radius. Our radius for an ellipse, we have two, so a radii, and that will be your a value, and then you also have your b value. So not a square, not b square, it's just the a and the b. That's your horizontal uh, radius for a, and that's your vertical radius for b. Okay, so let's sketch an example of an ellipse. This will be a very simple one. Let's just have it as x square plus y square equals to one, and both of them are oh no, x over four and y over nine. So how would you sketch this? Very simple. There's only a couple of steps here. Step number one, you find your center, which in this case is zero, zero. There is no hk, or there is, but then it's just zero. And then you also find your a value, which in this case is, a is always under x, okay? So in this case, you square root four because this number is your a square, not a. So you square root four and you get two. And of course the b value is you square root nine. And in this case, you'll get three. So that is step number one. You get your center, you get your a value and you get your b value. Afterwards guys, you can start sketching your ellipses. So, and I will begin drawing the x axis right there. And we will sketch our ellipse. So center zero, zero, put your center right there, a dot. Add 0, 0, just mark that down. And then afterwards, we have our a value. This is our horizontal radius, so that's 2. You add that to your x value right here. So 2 plus 0 is 2. And then 0 minus 2, you also minus it, negative 2. What that gives you is the point furthest away from your center, horizontally. And then you do the same thing for the b value, which is the vertical radius. So in this case, you add a 3 to your y value instead, and then you minus 3 as well. And I'll just make sure this axis goes there. And that's it. You have your points. So two, negative 2, 2, 3, and negative 3. You connect these circles, these dots together to get your ellipse. This one looks like a circle, but that's just because my drawing is not to scale. But that, guys, is how you sketch an ellipse. Very simple. Find your center, find your a, find your b, a value is always underneath x, and you make sure to square root it, b value is always underneath y, and make sure to square root that as well, because that's a square and b square, and then afterwards you can start sketching it, get your center, add the a value to the x value, and then minus it as well to get the two furthest point horizontally, then you add the b value, and subtract the b value from the y value of the center, and you get these two points, connect those four points together, and you get your ellipse, okay? And just on a side note as well, um, sometimes you in the exam or in the textbook, they might call these radius or radii semi-major, so semi-major or semi-minor or minor, okay? So semi-major just stands for the longer radius, so longer radius, 
In this case, the longer radius would be the B value, so that's 3 because 3 is bigger than 2. And of course, semi minor is the shorter radius. Okay, so in this case, that would be 2. Right, so that's pretty much it for ellipses, guys, and um, hopefully, this helps you tackle your chapter 1 questions for ellipses. And I'll see you in the next video for hyperbus. Right, thank you for watching.